Hey Sammy, okay, so it's Dana I'm with Sully Photography. I am using Photoshop Elements 11. I'm gonna show you how to do a gradient fill on an image. The first thing you wanna do now with this particular image, I have this like tunnel of light right here. So this is where I wanna kinda of pull some light at and maybe highlight her face a little bit. The first thing you need to do to do a gradient fill is you have to choose your color first. You're gonna use your bottom left hand corner where your color boxes are, and I don't know the proper name for them, but um, <laughs> that's what I call them. So let's just say I wanna do I guess we'll go with kind of an orangey color here. I'm not going to go too crazy trying to figure it out right now. But once you pick your color, you hit OK. Then you go up to Layer. You're going to go to New Fill Layer, Gradient. Once you get to Gradient, you can rename. It's totally up to you what you want to do. I'm going to not because I'm just going to go ahead and flatten the image. You have different options of what kind of light you want to use. You have a linear. You have a radial. For this image, I'm going to use a radial. You have your angle, which is going to bring you on a, on a corner. I don't really use any other type of gradient fill. Reflected and a diamond. Um, but because of what I'm doing now, this would probably work for this too, but it's just I don't want that, that streak there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my radial for this. Basically, once you're in here, I know that I want this to be smaller. So if you play with this dial here, it'll give you different sizes. Um, this is pretty much where I want to be because I, I just want to fill this hole. Once you're in here, you need to move it while you're in here. I'm going to put it kind of right there in between her face and the hole. Then I'm going to hit OK. You're going to come over to your options here and you want to go to overlay. Okay, and now it's going to give you this brightness. So now you can just play with your opacity and you can bring it as light or as dark as you want to. Um, that's about good for me. It gives me a nice highlight, shows the sun coming in the back there. Now I'm going to go ahead and flatten this layer. I can, I'm sorry, flatten the image. I'm going to go ahead and put another little color in there just to give me something else to play with because I, I like it to be kind of bright, whatever. Um, again, this is totally at your discretion, however you want to do it, of course. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient, na Rename if you want to, and then pull your um, whatever type of gradient fill you want to use. Again, I'm going to go down here to the smaller one. I'm going to bring it up there. And you always want to put your gradient fill kind of like on the darkest area of your image. So um, as you can see, her face and her hair right here is really dark. So I want to kind of bring it right about there. And then you're going to hit OK. You're going to go make sure you change this little menu here to go to Overlay. And see how I get a nice pretty pink hue. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play with my opacity. Um, this is not primo here, but it was just a quick idea to show you how. And so again, you can't see that we actually added that light. It just looks like the sun's coming in. It's really pretty and that's it. And then flatten your image and resize and do what you normally do. And there you go. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, totally PM me or hit me up in the chat and I will help you.